Hello and welcome once again to another episode of Open Talk. In today's episode, our guests are Navidita Datfali, founder and organizer of Bahrain for All, and Besma Burat-Riva, board member of Gulf Disabled Society and director of Head Rehabilitation Center. We will talk to them about the importance of having such kind of events that gathers and brings societies and different communities together. Welcome to our program, Vivita and Vesma. Thank, Thank you, you very much. It's to a pleasure to be here. Thank you. To start with, can you tell me about this initiative that you have? Um, I basically um, created and founded Bahrain for All mm -hmm. through my consultancy, Consult Nevs, and the idea was to embrace inclusivity. Mm -hmm. And this is the vision of the Bahrain leadership. So under King Hamid, um, uh, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and also the Prime Minister's Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa mm -hmm. and also His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The vision has always been to include all members of society regardless of colour, race, religion, abilities or disabilities. Mm -hmm. So Bahrain for All was created so that we could bring all of the society together mm -hmm. under one umbrella which is the umbrella of the flag of Bahrain. Okay. So under the flag of Bahrain, that's lovely. And how do you find that? I know that the event was held this month and how, how important was the event and the number of people that you saw coming to this event? Every year we have more communities that not only attend the event but also participate. So we started in the past maybe with five or six or less than ten communities you could say. Mm -hmm. We now have over 45, okay. which includes um, embassies, social clubs, um, centers for special needs, senior citizens, um, and, and all other actually members of society participate, they perform, and um, they spend the day with us. So it's getting bigger and bigger every year. And it's showcasing what Bahrain has, and that is really all the different traditions. Um, you know, it's a very tolerant society, Bahrain mm -hmm. in general. The people of Bahrain are so warm, they're friendly, they welcome everybody, they embrace everybody. And that's what makes actually the events easier to do than perhaps anywhere else. Well, that's, that's lovely and kind words from you. Uh, Besma, if you may tell me, so you are a part of these societies mm. as you're a board member of one of, the, of a society and a director in another society. Can you tell me how important is is, is it for you to bring the people from your society to such kind of events? This is very important to bring the disabled people with other people to join th them with them in the event. It's very important for us and for the other people to see this is the Bahraini. It's, it's not different if you come from another society, from another, uh, you know, religion, another you have disabled or you don't have disabled. It's all together. Being, yeah. being together and yeah. being one, that's very important. And how, how does it feel like um, these societies are having people from different, these told me there are embassies that take part. So having them under one roof in one day, how, how do you find it? How did you see that the outcome and or how did you feel that the way that they, how do you think they felt being a part of this? All the embassies and the social groups um, that we have, which are a lot of them are different nationalities and different religions, they actually embrace the idea of Bahrain for all. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to celebrate what Bahrain offers us. Um, because of the very the tolerant and open society, what Bahrain offers to all these communities is number one, freedom mm -hmm. and security. And they just embrace it and they celebrate it on, on, a, on a level, on a mass level. And they engage with each other because the whole idea with Consult Nibs is that we will not leave any member of society behind. Mm -hmm. So everyone is included as much as possible. And so far we've had very positive feedback. Okay, which is, which is very important. Yes. And so t you told me there were, are you, are you targeting other sectors for the upcoming event that you'll be ha having? Well, we already, throughout the year, um, what we do is we work with uh, women's groups, mm -hmm. um, centers for special needs, entrepreneurs, um, 
and senior citizens. And then once a year, we basically bring them all together in one place, which is Bahrain for All in Prince Khalifa bin Salman Park. Mm -hmm. So this year was the seventh event of doing that. Okay. So we will continue doing our CSR activities with these different um, societies and hopefully get more and more engaged and on board with us because everything we do is through private sector sponsorship. Okay. So what we are also saying to the community um, and the private sector is to support us with, with these kind of activities that engage the communities, they don't leave anybody behind, and also showcase Bahrain to the outside world for what it really stands for. That, that would be lovely. It's, it's, it's a great initiative having uh, people gather and uh, basically appreciate this lovely island. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, best of you may tell me, seeing the, the people that you present in these societies, being mm. there, how, how important do you think it is for them being a part of... Uh yeah, it's very important for them. You know that uh, all the people they know about the center who work with disabled, the center who, who work with uh, senior mm -hmm. people, they need help. A lot of people after the event, they come to be volunteer in these centers. Nice. So this is very important for us. Of course it is yeah, indeed. Yeah. And, and let's say if someone is out there and watching our program now mm -hmm. and would like to be a part and help, help you guys, how can they be a part of it and help? Yeah, they are welcome. They're welcome anytime. Yeah, yeah, they are welcome to help us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, mm. we need their support for us. We, I, I believe everyone would, a lot of people would love to take this initiative mm. and support, uh, support people, when it, uh, with especially the senior citizens and mm. the disabled. Um, so, can you tell me about um, knowing knowing that your initiative? So what made you feel that this is this is an important initiative, and how? The first time that you did it, how successful was it? I've lived in Bahrain for now 29 years, so it's my home. Mm -hmm. And what I felt was that what we needed to get the communities together, get them engaged with each other and really understand each other and understand what Bahrain really stands for and show the outside world that, that Bahrain is a, is a very tolerant society. The people are amazingly welcoming to everybody. They accept everyone. Um, and, and this is how the initiative initially you know, started. Mm -hmm. After that, we, we, did, um, we approached many places. And we, you, the court of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, they offered to support us. Okay. And as head of government, um, they support us with sometimes the things that we are unable to do in terms of logistics and, and admin things. Mm -hmm. But other than that, my, the whole initiative is through the private sector. And their support is, is, I mean, there's no words to explain the amount of support we get from them and how grateful we are. But the, the event has grown by itself mm -hmm. through the people. It's a, it's a movement by the people. They have come together. They bring ideas to the table. We, we had almost 12 centers, special needs centers, that participate at this time. Nice. So if you came to the park, there were people moving around on wheelchairs, on, um, you know, it, it was just like a, a, a mix of everything that you could possibly imagine. And that's, that's the goal. The goal is for the outside world to understand and to take this concept to other regions around the GCC. Well, are you thinking of going around and, and um consulting and doing these events abroad? We'll see what happens in the future, mm -hmm. but Bahrain is really, um, it's a role model, mm -hmm. the way I look at it. Um, and and it's, it's, it's worked very, very well in Bahrain, so we'll see what happens in the future. Inshallah, everything would, would go great. Inshallah. Um, so, um, going back to the, um, how, what, 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 what were the number of attend, at, oh, people that attended yeah. the well, every year the number just goes <laughs> up and up and up, and okay. we, you know, we've been told that they were in the region of over 50,000 people, mm -hmm. and you can tell by by the by the amount of of attendance. Mm -hmm. um, if we've, you know, we've got 45 centres involved, um, so you've got all of those communities that are coming along, but it's it's really just walls of people all the way down, and we have entertainment all day, but the entertainment is cultural, mm -hmm. so it's quite different because each community wants to show their their culture so we get mm -hmm. a chance to share everything 
Okay. And um, our MC, for example, is always Bahraini. The DJs are Bahraini. Uh, we always have somebody in between. Like this time, we had DJ Outlaw and Fliparachi. Nice. Um, so it just it just gets an op it's just an opportunity to get everyone together and, and see what's going on out there. And it's it's just fun. But at the same time, the message is that we're celebrating everything Bahrain has to offer. Well, it's it's very nice. Besma, how do you find that seeing the expat community in Bahrain? Um, participating in such an event and uh, basically feeling that Bahrain is, is like their country and they want to be a part yeah, of it. Yeah. How, do, how do you this feel? This is the Bahrain, you know. Bahrain is, uh, is come from different people. Mm -hmm. All of them, they come together because they love Bahrain. This is the word. All of them, they come because they love Bahrain. And, and uh, do you find it as a Bahraini seeing, seeing them? How, how does it feel like the fact that they're they're celebrating or they're being a part of this event. Yeah, this is great because you know all Bahraini with another nationality, with another people, all together in in the same event in the same time, all together they said we love Bahrain. Mm -hmm. With disabled people, without with non-disabled people, all together. This is the important things. This is it's very important seeing seeing. Um, the, uh, we have Bahrain ha has been always welcoming to the expat community and and seeing the expat community doing such having such an uh, having, having such an event is very important and do, do you have any other upcoming events other than this well um, in consult nibs we work with um, it's basically to do with CSR so okay. the focus of consult nibs is always to support and help the private sector organizations to use their CSR budgets so that corporate social responsibility is not really a donation mm -hmm. but it's more of a, a commitment and, and how it can affect society. So we have some other work um, in the pipeline. Okay. Some of it we may be under Bahrain for all and some of it we are looking towards something very, very new. Okay. Um, and again, it's to, it's to engage other sectors of the community so we're, again we're not leaving anyone behind mm -hmm. and I think that's really what Bahrain has always been about and it will always be that way and that makes everything so much easier for us because to do this event if we didn't really have the support of all the people that are involved the officials the uh, municipality the Ministry of Interior um, the F Ministry of Health for the ambulances civil defense they all come, you know, they all support us. And because that kind of Bahraini mindset mm -hmm. makes life easier for us to be able to get to, to do these kind of activities. I mean, you've got to remember, it's an open place. We're in the middle of a park. There's thousands of people. And all they're saying is, is, is we want to celebrate and appreciate Bahrain for what it offers us. So we, we're looking towards other things as well in the near future. Well, we would love to see other things. <laughs> Uh, you have your initiative has been is, is a great initiative, and having the support you you deserve having the support from all all the people out there. And I wish other places would support you in your upcoming events. Thank you very much. We always um, you know we're always looking for um, sponsorship through the private sector, and without them and all the communities, you know these events wouldn't be possible. Of so we, we'll keep working for it. Well, wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Uh, any last words that you would like to t give our viewers? We want to thank you. Thank Bahrain TV for our support. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's our pleasure. We would, we, we should su support support you guys. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, honestly, the the coverage and everything, um, everybody, all the clubs, the embassies have all sent us messages of gratitude because it means a lot to them. And what they do is they send messages to their uh, through to their countries to the um, wire agencies in their mm -hmm. countries so that this can be reported there also nice. so in that sense you know we're trying mm -hmm. to spread the word internationally as well so well. we do appreciate it very much well that's lovely and th I uh, uh, the fact that I have you guys it's a it's a great pleasure thank you so much and I, I thank you personally for having this great initiative and uh, bringing people together it's always nice to bring people together absolutely yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Once again, our guests today were Nibirita Datfali, founder and organizer of Bahrain for All, and Besma Saleh, she's the director of Head Rehabilitation Center. Thank you for watching Open Talk, and have a good evening.